Hi everyone. Here we have another sketch card, this time featuring the Swan King, and with that beautiful stark black and white swan behind him. I sort of broke down that shape in page one, panel one of the Swan King one shot, and I still love the way it looks. I love animals, drawing animals, so wherever I can put them in as uh, accent marks or just to make the page look more interesting, I like to do that. Something you'll notice if you've read the one-shot and then uh, caught Red Koi 6, Curse of the Swan King, or maybe seen him in some of my sketch cards and sketch covers, is that his look has shifted a bit since that one-shot came out. Now, obviously, his armor and sigil has changed a bit. His cape's now draped over one arm, and he has more chainmail. But it's funny how you start to gravitate towards little changes as you get to know a character on the page. His facial scar, which was always pronounced in the earliest book, um, now, you know, drags up underneath his hair, so it's gotten much bigger. Um, I like to draw his hands bigger than might be more uh, anatomically correct. And little things like this are the result of drawing him so many times and noticing a detail that may not have been intentional, but was more the result of, hey, I like the way that looks when I actually take a minute to sit back and look at the page. It's sort of funny and maybe seemingly obvious, uh, but you don't always pick up on this stuff when you're moving from one panel to the next. And so, anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying these time-lapse videos, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.